Welcome to Business Matters. Today's lesson we will be sharing with you is entitled Technology and the Global Business Environment. We will be spending some time looking at a series of lessons relating to this area and we are about to commence the starting of the series and lessons on technology and the global business environment. What are our objectives for this class? We'll be seeking to define business technology. We'll be seeking as well to explain the concepts of business technology explain the role of information communication technology that is ICT in business. We're going to be looking at the types of ICT used in business. And of course, we're also going to seek to identify in which ways in which ICT can be used to improve efficiency in business operation. And finally, we'll be seeking to address, address rather, the, this, the ethical implications of ICT in business. Let's get on to it. So, what we know today is not was many years ago. Today, we are experiencing flying cars, touch screen computers, time wrap travel, uh, magnetic trains, and robots are all examples of current technology. Technology is changing fast and furious in our day. But the idea of technology has been around since the beginning of mankind. Technology continues to improve down through the years. And so I would like to share with you just a few thoughts on how technology has evolved down through the years. During the nomadic agri agrarian times, technology was basically the use of stone tools that was, were used in harvesting food. And then we come to the agrarian period, where agricultural tasks focused on mechanization, that is the use of plow and tractors in the planting and harvesting of products and crops. And then we have we move down through the years, and we come down to to um, in the industrial age. And technology during the industrial age centered around building material goods with machines, yes, and steam engines. And then we move into the service area or period of technology. And this is where now intellectual pursuits and the introduction and growth of computers took place. And then in 1997, 1975 to 2000, there was an outburst of the information age. Yes, intellectual development of tools for thinking and design and the concepts and the work of the internet and its application became very forceful in our society. And then today, we're in what is referred to as the semant semantic period of technology where the focus is, is on intellectual pursuits and networking and predominance of smartphones and explosion of the internet and social media. So technology has been progressing down through the, the ages and the years and into what it is today 
But let's look at business technology. What is business technology? Now, business technology speaks to the applications of science, data, engineering, and information for business purposes. It is taking all of those three or four elements in combined for the success of economic operation and success in business operations. Now let's seek to go a little bit deeper in explaining the concept of business technology. Now the main element of technology is change and how it affects business and society. So technology becomes impactful because it comes with changes, changes in how we do things, changes, yes, in how businesses, businesses are conducted, changes how the society is organized. Now, business success today is dependent on how well organizations optimally utilizes available technology. Now, technology can cause fast development cycles. So, technology has really created faster developmental cycles. Things are changing, evolving in a, on a, in a rapid pace. Technology also is impacting in a way that it is becoming disruptive, right? Well, what is referred to as disruptive business models. The models that was traditionally existing has changed. So technology contributes to what is referred to as a disruptive business model. It is increasing global competition. We often hear, use the concept, we're living in a global village. Automation, yes, business technology is impacting so much so that we have a preponderance of automation taking place in production processes. All right, let's look at the types of ICT, use, how it is used in business, types of ICT. Now, technology has changed all areas of business, yes? And it, can be, and it is evident as we move around in the various town centers and cities and so on. Now, so ICT is impacting customer interfacing applications and solutions. By this, we're talking about the section of the business that is dealing directly with the interface of customers. Yes? Technology has changed a great deg degree of how customers are interfacing with organizational businesses. Yes, um, the use of how do you enter the offices using technological um, fingerprints, um, the way the the your customer service rep provide the services using computers. Uh, power up um, point of sale systems um, and so on so these these solutions are change have changed technology has changed how how customers interface with the business the third area is referred to as the business the business critical production and logistic logistic solutions this area of of the business now has changed in terms of the era of production yes the processes that is taking place in the production of the goods and services and the, the logistics that that are now existing in terms of moving around goods and services right so um ict this area of 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 the business is impacted the business critical production and logistic solutions and then we come to the third area of the business and how ict has impacted and that we call the the back office um financial systems this is now speaking to the work of the accountants 
the work of the auditors, the work of the of the assessors, yes, and and those who are and the consultants. These persons um, work within what we refer to as the back office. Um, the work that these persons are doing have been modified, changed by the use of technology. So it is not so much pen and paper as that is not as dominant as the use of the electronic devices, um, application programs on computers. For example, the the for accounting, we may have QuickBooks. Yes, you have some um, some accounting softwares that are used on computers that help you to do a number of things that you want to do um, that previously would require a ledger paper, a ledger sheet, and so on. Right, so a lot of automation has been put in place in the back office financial systems. The role of technology in business. Now, digital technology exists to help individuals, businesses, and organizations to use information. Now, ICT is concerned with what now? The storage, retrieval, manipulation, transmission, or receipt of digital data so we talk about um information communication technology yes it is concerning the processes of storage of information storage of data yes retrieval of data um how the ability to manipulate the data that you have the ability to quickly transmit data um the information or data from one part of the organization or one part of the world to another and so on now digitization provides new business opportunities and it requires companies to have a constant requires companies to have a constant consistent digital was referred to as a digital front line for interacting with consumers partners employees in the network network multi-channel world so digitization yes this digitization technology has changed how we do things Yes, and how we interact with the various stakeholders in the business, please. Now, ways technology can has influenced banking and commerce. Now, ICT makes a business more efficient, effective, and yes, and prompt to respond to customers' needs. So, the use of ICT um, really has aided in the efficiency and the effectiveness of how business can interact with the customers and satisfy their needs. Now, one, the, that, uh, the influence of, of technology and banking arise and is evident through the introduction of automatic teller machine. Automatic teller machines. Two, automated banking machines these are two uh new technological means that bankers are using yes to provide the consumer or the customer with um electronic means of doing their financial transactions and business yes so it is not surrounding um, around the brick and mortar location. Now these facilities, fa these facilitate these two. That is the automated teller machines and the automated banking machines. Yes, facilitates the deposit and withdrawal of funds as well as other services without having to go into the bank to access teller services. Beautiful improvements yes you know many times banks tended to have long lines and you spend 
uh, hours to seek to do complete simple transactions. But the technology has influenced how banking is taking place. Now, the technology has allowed banking to be done away from the bank. So we're going to talk about banking away from the bank. One, automate eight, the ATM machines are available now in hotels. They are available in petrol stations, malls, supermarkets, right? Which adds to the convenience of customers who can transact business without banking transactions, without having to wait in long lines at the bank. Secondly, on the matter of online, online banking also allows the consumer to use internet facilities, yes, and internet platforms to conduct banking activities away from the bank. So, so online banking, yes, it enables the, con the customers to access their accounts from home and other locations using personal computers and smartphones, etc. How does this help? Well, this, these facilities that are made available, yes, enables the customer to check their balances from the comfort of their homes and permits easy and convenient payment of utilities and other bills without hassle. Customers with more than one account can also use this facility to transfer funds from one account to another. So online banking provides these facilities to the consumer. Let's talk about e-commerce now. Now, the use of, when we refer to as e-commerce, yes, is referred to really electronic commerce. And using the internet, individuals and businesses are now able to make business transactions via the World Wide Web or the internet, yes, without having to visit the physical brick and mortar store. E-commerce has given e-commerce has given given rise to many online stores. Yes, and in particular, since 2020, the the rise of the pandemic, COVID virus, yes, COVID-19, we saw much of of the e-commerce taking place across the world because the virus prevented people from moving to the brick and mortar stores to con transact business so e-commerce has given rise to many online stores which permit customers to do what now browse for products and to pay for them electronically let us seek to do a distinction here want to look how E-commerce is different from e-business. Now, the E stands for electronic networks. E-commerce refers to the outward-facing processes that touch consumers or customers, suppliers, and external parties. So when we talk about uh, e-commerce, we're talking about those activities that are going to be directly interfacing with the customers, suppliers, and the external partners, right? This includes, this includes sales, marketing, order taking, delivery, customer service, purchasing of raw materials. All of these activities are considered to be a part of e-commerce, yes? Supplies for production, procurement of indirect um, operating expenses such as such as um, office supplies it involves new business models and the potential to gain 
new revenue or loss some existing revenue to new competitors. So all of those um, features exist with e-commerce. So new business models are, are created now. No longer are people only just advertising in the physical space. Businesses are advertising in the, in the online space. Yes, the business models, how you, you, the different arrangement to complete the transactions, to complete transactions are changed. So the business models are reworked to allow for um, e-commerce to take place, electronic trading to take place um, between the organization and the customers. Now, e-business includes e-commerce, but also covers internal processes. So, e-commerce is a subset of e-business, right? But in particular, e-business here speaks, covers the internal processes such as production, inventory, inventory management, product development, risk management, finance, knowledge management and human resource so when we talk about e-business we're talking about all the internal processes that is taking place yes um in the business e-business strategy is more complex more and, and focused it is focused on internal processes as we said before and it is aimed at cost saving so um how we conduct the quality of our production what do how do we put in new technological elements in our production process to reduce the cost of production so e-business is really making your business processes of such that you are gaining yes in terms of cost savings improvement in efficiencies and increasing in your productivity level of productivity and cost savings so e-commerce is really using the electronic the, um, technology to bring down your the cost of production and improve the process of your operation now let's move quickly to how can how can ICT improve efficiency of a business a business operation? Well, quickly, speed and time. ICT, the use of technology, will speed up how the processes take place in the business and so saves time. Um, it is easiest for storage, yes. Um, some time ago, businesses have to store up their, their, um, it may require them to have a large storeroom, yes, because they don't want to run out of stock, but that doesn't have to be anymore. Because of technology, you can know your level of stock and reorder level and be able to calculate how long it will take you for shipments to reach you and so you don't have to require a lot of warehousing space and increasing costs. So storage in that matter is easier and again, um, a lot of the information and data does not can be stored in, in on small devices instead of a large room with books and papers. Um, thirdly, it improves the efficiency of business operation in the sense that it improves the sharing of information. Information prior to now, you are following the, the postal system. So let us take weeks, some days or weeks to move from one business to a next, on one from one supplier to the to the to the business. But it improves the sharing of information through emails. Um, and other varying um, speedy networking systems. Yes, um, teleconferencing can be done, video conferencing with, with, with meetings all over the world and having information being shared real time. Automation, 
This is where now things you program the productive process and watch it works. Watch it work for you. Automation. Things are done on a, with a clockwork without much intervent, human intervention. Benefits of technology to businesses. One, the business is able to reach more potential customers, develop a business relationship with potential customers. So they're able to, to reach their customer easier and of course they can, um, they can now reach them and have better relationship with their customers. Two, streamline. The technology streamlines operations and it reduces cost, improve efficiency, max, an opportunity to maximize profit as again and as well minimize waste. Right? Um, you can better allocate your talents in your organization. You can devote talent to core businesses instead of um, areas that is going to give you unnecessary overhead. It can provide better service to the to the consumers yes the technology allows you to provide better service to the consumers or the customers fourthly it support better relationship with key partners it allows cost consumers or customers to better guide the business giving feedback letting the business know what is happening in a in, in short space of time so that adjustments can be taken can take place let's now close by looking at ethical implica implica implications right of ICT in business so as the rate of technology develop technological development accelerates yes care must be taken to manage yes its ethical uses now we focus here on digital technologies Devices that rely on rapidly accelerating digital senses, um, storage and transmission capabilities to intervene in human processes. Yes, but as we are doing that, yes, we have to be mindful that the ICT, yes, has its challenges and there are some rules and regulations that businesses must follow right so that they don't infringe on other businesses other individuals customers suppliers etc so ways it is impacting <clears throat> ict has allowed drones your drones to be able to watch your neighbors yes Mobile phones can track us as we shop at stores. We have algorithm on our smartphones now, right? Our algorithm that is based on commercial data, allowing firms to, to sell us products. Yes, they assume we can afford and avoid showing us products they assume we cannot. So... On your cell phone, you will see a number of types of business coming up. It is sensing. It is an algorithm that is worked out, yes, to assume your taste and the kinds of product you want, and then it, it floods your, your system. Autonomous vehicles communicate with one another to minimize traffic congestion. These are, are what is taking place in our technological age but there are consequences if we are not operating ethically with ICT in business and one area of concern is security security of information yes security of information financial victimization many persons have have found that their their banking information has been hacked yes and so they are victimized so that's an area of concern private concerns private privacy concerns and in privacy concern we're talking about you know cyber bullying yes online 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 harassment and online strolling these are are challenges that people are experiencing 
um, with ICT. Um, intellectual property infringement, such as copywriting. Yes, people are m misusing um, other persons' work, right? And so that is also an ethical con consideration. Imp impact of humans. Yes, how is the ICT world impacting on human existence, the normal existence of human information overload? Because so much information available, information overload is existing and addiction to, to the devices, yes, may affect sight, affect um, posture, etc. Um, distractions, yes, ICT may, may, may there may be a situation that of distraction, distract, the business becomes so distracted with putting in the system that it goes away from its core business and its core era of operation. Illegitimate surveillance, yes, that is something that must be, 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 be guarded against as well because although you want to protect your business from intruders, yes, sometimes they may be at places where it affects the privacy and the sensitivity of the customers. An individual. Internet judge, judges, this is also an area of concern with um, ICT. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for sharing um, with us on this first segment of our topic on, on um, technology and technology and the global technology and the global business environment. We'll be looking at part two and three in the series in short order. If you like this video, please subscribe and we'll be showing you when we will be, you'll know rather when we are going to be uploading series two and three of this topic.